continuing from the last video where we graphed this equation log of x plus 3 base 2 plus 4 we saw that this is a transformation of log of x base 2 where this uh, this is the graph of y uh, log of x base 2 and this is the trans transformation of this uh, so basically what happened was this graph this log graph moved 3 to the left and moved 4 up okay and the asymptote uh, here in this case the asymptote was your y-axis which is x is equal to 0 became x is equal to negative 3 okay so let us look at a uh, related or a similar question yeah this is a transformation so you can say this is transformation of y is equal to log of x base 3 okay and I also told you there's a very neat formula that log of uh, x base y okay or let me write log of log of this is a very neat uh, rule that it is very useful so log of a base b is nothing but log of uh, a of course when you say log of log of a the base is 10 over log of b base 10 okay so to explain this again suppose if someone is asking you what is log of say 27 to the base 3 of course using uh, I we know this is 3 why because 3 cube is 27 but how would you do this on a calculator uh, it's basically uh, menu run so you do log of 27 divided by log of 3 okay which is 3 but this is fine but suppose someone is asking you what is log of say phi base 3 okay so here of course you can do this uh, uh, but uh, if you don't want to do it through the whole process this is nothing but log of phi so this is nothing but log of phi divided by log of 3 okay yeah basically we are asking the question 3 to which power gives you phi okay that's this number so conversely if you want to check your answer 3 raised to this would give you 5 so let's do that 3 raised to the answer should give you 5 and that's what's log all about log is nothing but the uh, uh, opposite of uh, exponential function so this is uh, what was answer one point Four six in one dp. Okay, so this is one point four six. Okay, now, so this is not what I wanted to explain. So, so let me delete this. Okay, so this you are saying is this is the transformation of log of x base three. Okay, so now, so let's take x. Let let's make a table of x and y which is log of x to the base 3 so we're going to take all the powers of 3 so if you start with 1 so you say log of 1 base 3 is 0 because you know 3 to the power 0 is 1 let's take 3 so when you take 3 it's log of 3 to the base 3 so that's 1 because 3 to the power 1 is 3 and then the last that you can take on this graph is 9 which is log of 9 to the base 3 is 2. So let's plot these points. So this is the graph of log of x to the base 3. So 1, 0 is this point. Then the next point is 3, comma 1. And the next point is 9, comma 2. This is 9, comma 2. Okay. So, and this is your asymptote, which is x is equal to 0. 
any log graph or the basic log graph lsm to towards the y axis okay so your graph would look somewhat like this okay oops let me draw that better so it goes like this and we are some toting towards your y axis now to check this on a calculator what you do is menu go to graph and type in log of x divided by log of 3 just to show you so this is your okay so this is some toting towards the y axis okay now what we are saying is this is this is a transformation let me use black color so this is this graph this graph is this is the transformation of this so this graph has moved two to the right this minus two means it has moved two to the right and three down okay so remember this minus means it has moved two to the right and three down so let's move each of these points uh, two to the left let me use a black color two to the right sorry two to the right so one two to the right and three down uh, one two three hopefully I'm right yeah so this is this this point has transformed two to the right and one two three down so again two to the right one two one two three yeah so this is yeah and yeah I can't move two to the right so suppose it's yeah and three down one two three so it's somewhere yeah okay and uh, this asymptote your asymptote ha will move two to the right so if you if you move the asymptote two to the right and three down it will not move down because it's only moving to the uh, right two so the asymptote would be your new asymptote would be this line passing through two on the x-axis so this is your new asymptote so this is this your old asymptote or this was x is equal to zero and this is x is equal to two so your graph would look like this there will be asymptoting towards so it will go like this and we'll press some toting toward this okay now how to check this so this is your graph this is your graph of log of x base 3 and i'm saying this is the graph of y log of x minus 2 base 3 minus 3 okay so these are the points that we're going to check on so this point so let us name those points so this point is to three three comma negative three so this is three comma negative three and this point is five comma negative two so we're going to check these two points five comma negative two so let's grab this so delete this oops delete yes so I'm going to type in log of x minus 2 divided by log of 3 minus 3. Okay, and this is your, so let me make this bigger. So 10 by 10 would do. So this is your graph. Okay, and we want to check this point 3 comma negative 3. So you go g-solve y calc. When x is 3, what's y? 3 comma negative 3. So that confirmed. And again, you can calculate what's x. When x is 5, what's y? When x is 5, y is negative 2. So your graph is excellent. And you can be proud of yourself. And you can give yourself 5 smiley faces. See you in the next video.